West Ham United, a team that I believe actually does have a lot of potential. I think they have recruited well, but the start of the season is starting to put doubt into people's minds. But I think they just need time. Eventually, they will get it right. But today, we are going to run through the player rating, so we will see all those new players. And finally, as always, these player ratings voted for by the fans, I'm just bringing them to you. So don't go too hard on me in the comments section. The first new signing, Lucas Fabianski in from Swansea. I think this is a great deal. He's a very good keeper, very solid. He's improving up one to an 81. And Adrian isn't moving at all. He's staying at a 79. Moving into the defense, we have Aaron Cresswell. He's going to be improving two to a 78. And Ryan Fredericks, another one of the new signings in from Fulham. He's up five to a 74. Masaku at left back, he's going to be improving up 3 to 78 after a good season last year. Zabletta didn't get as much playtime last season, he's going to be dropping down 2 to a 77. Angelo Ogbonna in the heart of defence, he's actually going to be dropping down 1 to a 79. Also on a 79 we have Winston Reid, he was that last season, he's going to be the same again this year. Some more of the youngsters. We've got Reese Oxford, can be a centre back or a defensive midfielder. He's going up three to a 69. Same with Declan Rice. I've actually got him as a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder. He's up 13 to a 73. Issa Diop, another new signing. He's up four to an 80. Sanchez, also another signing, as we know previously of Aston Villa in the past. He's going to be staying at a 77. Pedro Obiang, another holding midfielder. We've got some good depth there. He's up 2 to a 79. And, of course, the captain, Mark Noble. I'm afraid he is actually going to be dropping down 1 to a 76. Two more brand new signings. Jack Wilshere in from Arsenal. He did well last season. Not enough to get any rating improvement. He's staying at an 81. And Felipe Anderson, he's looked very good at the start of this year. He's going up 1 to an 82. Lanzini, the man, he's out for a very long time with his injuries. However, he's still improving one up to an 82. And Robert Snodgrass, back from loan from Aston Villa, is moving up one to a 77. We've got a couple more players to go. Andy Carroll, another player who's been plagued with injuries for what seems a lifetime. He's going to be dropping down one to a 77. And Javier Hernandez, I've actually got him improving up one. I thought we'd be staying around the same or maybe even getting a downgrade. Next up, we've got Antonio and Yarmolenko. Yarmolenko's new into the club. He's looked very good when he's actually had playing time. He just hasn't had too much yet. He's going up 1 to an 82, and Antonio is actually going to be staying the same. I think he may be in for a downgrade, though. I'm not exactly sure. Lucas Perez, another signing. Probably the last one we're going to cover. He's dropping down one. Hasn't really had a fair chance at Arsenal, but this is a bit of a revival for him, really. It could actually do him some good. He's dropping down one, like I said, to an 80. And finally... I've got him as the key man for the club, Arnautovic. I'm actually going to have a position change for him this year from a left midfielder to a striker because he has been utilised up front quite a bit for West Ham. So I think that could be a change. I've also got him improving 1 to an 83. And with that, that concludes the player ratings for today. We've only got one more team to go, which will be Wolves. So that should be out tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you disagree with the ratings, let me know as well. We can have a chat about it. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that now. So thank you very much, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow on the next video.